The warning of the Lord to the end time church, I saw the Lord Jesus, I started praying yesterday around 7 p.m., and for a long time I prayed in unknown language, the light that I used to see was getting stronger and stronger, an increase in intensity as I continued to pray until the moment when I felt like I was blind, when I opened my eyes I couldn't see, I no longer saw anything for I was like blind, I started to cry and I said Lord, why do you make me suffer? Why don't you consider me worthy of meeting you face to face, yet I have endured so much of trials because of you, I felt suddenly a great heat and a great joy that overflow in my whole being, I started to shake, it was uncontrollable, then suddenly I heard a voice telling me, my son, get up, you are strong in this ordeal and trials, at no time you have flinch, that's why you deserve answers to all your questions and you deserve to see what your heart desires, get up. I said Lord I can't see but I want to see, I felt someone hand touching my eyes with incomparable softness, it was different from human touch, when my vision was opened, I saw a very handsome man who stood in front of me, I could see him not like in a vision or dream, but face to face, I fell down and I said, Lord thank you for responding to my prayer, he said to me, I am not the Lord but I am his angel that he sent so that you can be led to him. He saw the desires of your heart and he answered your prayer, he wants you to give a message to the world in order to gather the lost flock, of the uttermost part of the earth, I was filled with joy and felicity because the Lord remembered me his servant and answered my prayer, even if I said these words, I realized that they did not come from me but from the Spirit of God that filled my soul at that moment, quickly the angel took my hand and I felt myself separating from my physical body. We rose towards the heaven, I could see my physical body on the land. The angel told me, come and enter the glory of the Father, we arrived in front of a gate and I saw two angels who guarded the entrance of the heavenly world. They were taller than the one I was with, one of them was holding a book, my companion told them, don't look at his name in the book because he has not gave up the soul, the Lord is waiting for us, just let us in. The two angels opened the gateway of the celestial world and we enter the city gate, when we entered that pearly gate, what I saw was indescribable, I can just say it was very beautiful, magnificent, extraordinary and everything was gold. The roads were of shiny gold, the houses also of gold and of beautiful architectures, there were sparkling color that were perfect, everything is perfect in heaven, the houses was however closed and without occupant. As much I thought I would see those who were gone to heaven, when I walked in this kingdom it was different from the land, as if there were wheels on my feet that moved me forward, when I walk in a distance of 200 meter I saw a great light blinding my view, and I said to the angel, why is this light stopping me from moving and where are we, he told me, we are before the throne room of God, and this light is the reflection of the glory of God, I say what should I do to make the light leave. He answered me do what you see others doing around, I looked around and I saw around me twenty-four elders that are mentioned in the book of Apocalypse, I also saw lying on the ground people that wore white dress sparkling and a golden belt around, they had removed the crown and had them laid before the throne, their hand were reaching for the throne and they addressed him who was sitting, so I laid down, I started to worship like them, suddenly I found myself in the large choir and I felt like in me there was a musical orchestra of heavenly melodies coming out of my mouth and going up in front of the throne, this worship was long but I did not want it to end, it was a living adoration that I had not experienced before, when the worship ended I opened my eyes, and I saw that I was no longer in the same place, I now found myself to the right of the white throne, and despite my best efforts, I could not see whoever was sitting on the throne because his face shone like the sun when it shine with all its strength, next to this light was found another light, and the angel asked me to go to him, when I walked straight forward once more, I heard a voice calling, Kevin, I said yes Lord, he said I am the Lord Jesus Christ that you have sought in prayer, turn around and look, when I did, I saw the Lord in front of me face to face, I fell at his feet saying, thank you Lord, my faith in you is now greater than ever, get up and let me show you something say the Lord, do you know why I show you the houses that are here, the Lord said, all the mansion of the elect are finished, 
I want you to go and tell them that my second coming is really imminent, but they are not ready, no one know the day of my return except the further that you saw seating on the throne, go warn my people for my return is imminent, they should be on the alert, for if the trumpet was to blast today only a handful a little percentage will be saved, when the Lord spoke that way we went towards a pool filled with crystal clear water, from which we observe a church on the earth, filled with people that were singing and praising the Lord, the Lord told me, the people you see there have not come to church to seek me, they are there to seek what I give to my children and I will give them what they came to ask me, yet many of them don't know me, you must be careful, I am a generous God who give without distinction, I also give to unbeliever, I raise the sun to the just and the unjust, if you love material things that I give it's simply idolatry, you should only love me and me alone. Many of my children have learned to love these passing material things, that is why only few of them will enter the kingdom of heaven. My anger against leader that are responsible for this idolatry will be great on the day of judgment, I said Lord, what is it that they are asking you? He said to me, what is it that men demand when they come to me, I said we ask you money, cars, houses, marriages, promotion and happiness, the Lord told me you spoke well for their heart is full of these things, they can sing praise to me and come to church, but they are far from me, they honor me with their tongue and their heart is far from me, beware you people that are performing miracles and prophesying among my people and closing the gate of the kingdom to them, if you do not repent from your action I will destroy you by the sword that come out of my mouth, I will throw you in the outer darkness where there is cries and gnashing of teeth. I was confused and I said why is the Lord speaking like he has nothing to do with this church, the Lord said, do not be trouble Kevin, even if they are performing miracle and prophesying by my spirit, they have no part with me and I don't know them, Paul said in his ministry I fear being rejected after preaching to others, this is despite miracle and prophecy manifesting in his ministry, is it not written that in the last day many will say to me on judgment day many will say to me, Lord, Lord. We prophesied in your name and cast out demons in your name and performed many miracles in your name, they did all these things forgetting the essential, they have abandoned the narrow road leading to me, and they have chosen the wide road leading to destruction, the Lord said, even the church where you attend will perish, I said Lord how is that possible, the Lord said, now take a look at the people of your assembly, and tell me what do you see. When I look I saw our member praying and worshipping the Lord, I said Lord there is nothing abnormal, they are singing and worshipping you. The Lord said look again, when I look I began to see the thought of their heart, I saw that their heart was not on the Lord, for they came for healing, and they wanted to bring down the altar of Jezebel in their lives, their marriages and their families, I said to the Lord, is it not normal to fight demons? What is wrong with that, the Lord said. They want to bring down the altar of Jezebel in order to improve their terrestrial life, their marriage, their family and houses, they don't understand that I did not come to earth to improve their earthly life, but to give them access to the kingdom of heaven, they are not seeking the kingdom of heaven but rather they are seeking to improve their lives on the earth, they don't desire the kingdom of heaven, they desire a prosperous life on the earth, my true children do not seek these things of the world it's the unbeliever that desire and seek these things of the world, my true children do not seek the things of the world, for they desire to know me and to inherit the kingdom of heaven, I am telling you today, you must be different from unbeliever in all things, even in the way of dressing, but look at the members of your church, they dress with worldly clothes, they have on their body the instrument of the enemy, it will be sad for a saint to be refused the access to the kingdom because of dressing, shoes and haircut style, the Lord said, now look at the fate and destination of members of your church, immediately I was able to see people tormented in hell, this is because of high heels, lady pants, tight, t-shirt of human skull, necklace, bracelet, wigs, hairstyle like Cisco, plateau, kringle, the Lord said, all these things come from the evil one and he is using them to seduce my people, is it not written that woman must not wear men clothe? So why are you ignoring this word, why are you caring for your body that will return to the dust and neglecting your soul that will leave forever in hell, is your soul not much more important than your body, 
In the end of time many of you have your intelligence blinded, you need discernment, today my servant instead of preaching sound doctrine that will save my people, they are preaching what people want to hear, I am telling you they have their reward, if you preach what I am asking you many will leave your church, but since you are preaching what I have not asked you your churches are filled with people, what is the point of winning the world and loosing your soul, remove the least sin among you, and separate yourself of what is impure, only those who are holy that will inherit the kingdom of heaven, what my servant were to preach at the end of time is sin, their message must be center on sin, for the former things are passed away, they must get my people prepare for the kingdom of heaven that is imminent in leaving sinful life, you must be justified in the least of your action, the father sent me to the world to give life and announce the kingdom of heaven to men, I have also sent my servant to do the work that the father entrusted me, but today they have deviated from the initial mission, I know that they can return to the way, that is why I am sending you, go warn them and tell them that everything is ready in heaven and I am coming already, the Lord said, clothe that are extravagant should not war by my children, and any church that does not have the mission of going to heaven is a pagan church, any church that does not preach the kingdom of heaven and does not prepare for my return is a pagan church, examine the church where you are, you must be holy in order to reflect your father that is holy, be holy among men, get rid of idolatry in your heart for I am a jealous God, if there is anything in your heart that contests the first place with me, I will be the first to leave. I must occupy the first place and be the top priority, otherwise I am not there, I am not demanding 90% of your love not even 99% but I want all your love and all your affection, many believers will not be saved because of the idolatry of the heart, the Lord showed me five servants that were praying in the church, the first one said, I declare that every spirit of poverty that block my life, be consumed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. The second one said may any altar of Jezebel that was set up in my marriage to block delivery, be consumed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. The third brother said, I plunge all my business, my health and my family and my marriage and children in the blood, in the name of Jesus Christ, let any unclean spirit that settle in one these sector of my life catch fire in the name of Jesus. The fourth one said, I declare that any diabolic plan mounted against me against my enterprise is destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. The fifth brother said, Lord destroy the spirit of poverty in my life and give me wealth for gold and silver belong to you, anyway, I always give more than what I have, I always pay my tithe, the Lord asked me, Kevin, which one of them did a better prayer, I said it must be the fourth one, the Lord said, in truth none of them did a good prayer. I said Lord what's wrong with his prayer, he just want his enterprise to prosper, the Lord told me, if his undertaking and business is not for serving me, it's idolatry, the fifth one is asking for money, but if this money is not to be put in my work, if the money is demanded is in order to satisfy his own belly, it's idolatry, the first man that want me to destroy the spirit of poverty in his business so that his business will prosper, but if his business is not for supporting my service, it's idolatry, the second man want me to give him children, but if his children is not in order to serve me they will become idle, the third man is asking me to protect his business, his health and family because, all these idols have a big place in his heart instead of me, and these things are of his great interest, these are idols, and this is idolatry, if all these people were asking me all these things not for them but my work, in truth they would not be asking too much these things, therefore you must not work for what is corruptible but seek things that last for eternity, the miracles that you are asking will end, the prophecy will finish and the demon that you are fighting will not be around, your body that you are maintaining will perish, even the marriage will end, but faith, love, perseverance and my word will remain, if you are still focused on these things that are terrestrial and temporary you are still carnal, for the spiritual man is focused on spiritual and eternal things from above, what is spiritual is eternal, what is material is temporary, now go to the lost souls from the uttermost part of the world, go and find yours, I just began to feed, I will reveal to you more when time will come.